Hello and welcome to the live stream. Well, this came up a lot later than planned, so I don't even know if anyone will join. If anyone's going on this, I basically made a community tab post stating I was going to be going live this evening and had a lot to talk about. Unfortunately, work commitments got in the way. And trying to get home... I'm sorry, that light is going to be right in your way, isn't it? Trying to get home was an absolute nightmare. I'm sorry, you're going to have to just deal with it, guys. <laughs> I'll try and move this out of the way. So yeah, I uh, I took forever to get home from work, so this isn't going to be as an exciting, riveting live as I intended. Oh yeah, how are you doing? I'm glad you could come. Um, so yeah, I've got nothing planned out now on how I'm going to go about this live. Like, I was quite excited about it originally. I had all these things dot, jotted down, but I've literally just got in from work, made a cup of tea, I look a state, and I click the live button. So, I'll try and go through some basics, and what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to host another live. Hi, everyone joining. Yeah, I'm alright, I'm just knackered, guys. Absolutely knackers. Knackered. Hey, Scott, I love you too. So, I'm going to be planning a future live. And in the future live, I know I mentioned before that you can advertise your channels in the live. You're still welcome to do so in this one. But I am going to be planning a future live that you can literally practically spam my chat um, with information about yourself, your channel, so that other people... We're not doing a sub-for-sub -sub basis thing because I don't believe in that, but it will give everyone a chance to advertise themselves. It will be planned out better. It will be like known in advance on my community tab so keep an eye on that for the dates and times for that live and you guys will literally be able to kind of flood the chat with information about yourselves and anyone that's interested in that gets to join and there is actually a reason why I'm going to start doing that um, nobody's actually missed anything guys I'm just on late because <sighs> work and trying to get home um, <laughs> hey Garman so I am setting myself a goal for 2020, and it's a a major goal. Um, but why dream small when you can dream big, right? And I'm going to try and aim as high as I can to push my channel to be highly interactive and engaging channel. That's where I'm aiming. So my push this time is going to be on the engagement of people and I don't just mean replying to comments um, I mean I've got I'm not going to list them all now because I want to explain it in a future life look I'm playing with my kids toys here just because I'm so tired trying to stay awake um, 12 days of Christmas so I've got a few people to see it oh, I've loved oh yeah I don't sing I'm not going to lie to you I uh, I've been asked by a couple of people to do some singing clips it's just it wouldn't happen for me and I've, I've honestly I've had no time for anything this is why I'm so exhausted right now. It's all work. All work and no play at the moment. Christmas was great, but knackering. And I've been non-stop since. Hi, everyone that's joined. Uh, Stick insect eggs are doing well. They're no longer in this room. They're upstairs. Thank you very much for sending me those. I will do a video on them when they start hatching. Um, <coughs> as well. But I've lost lost my trail of thought here. Yeah, so my plan for 2020 basically is to be in a very engaging channel. So, as I said, I'm not going to reveal to you all of it now. But there are plans going to be set in motion that will allow a lot more... Um, I'm too tired to think. A lot more um, interactiveness between viewer, me, and other people in the world. So there'll be a lot more of like competition based things not necessarily with prizes as such I mean I will do the odd giveaway here and there but I'm not a giveaway channel but we will host a few little competitions where people can win I don't know ways of being shown in backgrounds and things we're building up the Hall of Fame board now the Hall of Fame board isn't going to be done for a little while because someone's creating it on my behalf and that someone who's creating the Hall of Fame board is incredibly busy like insanely busy so I'm kind of on the back burner edge of that but as soon as their projects are done my Hall of Fame board will come so that's more interactivity if you don't know about my Hall of Fame board I'm not going to explain it all here after this live go back a few videos and look for one that's got Hall of Fame in the title I think it's got HOF on the thumbnail 
look at that one and you'll know about the Hall of Fame board. And that's a way for subscribers like yourselves or other YouTubers or anybody to be in a place in a certain background in certain videos uh, as a thanks from me. So you'll get your names put up there. Um, but anyway, yeah, check that video out if you want to know about that. Sorry, I'm not keeping up to scratch on what you guys are saying here. Sam smells, yeah, thanks, mate. Appreciate that. <laughs> How are you doing, by the way? Vinegreen always spares me, even though I pick it up gently. Could do, yeah, I plan on doing an update on my Vinegreen. I was going to do an update on the original one and put it side by side with the new one, which is a completely different species and actually kept slightly differently as well. Um, one is a lot more drier kept than the other, which is mm -hmm. quite interesting. Um, hang on, people are messaging me here. Is this any of you messaging me? Uh, I can't read it while I'm on my phone because I scroll down. If I click it, it's going to cut my live off. So if there's any of you messaging me, uh, you'll have to wait. Um, where are, else are we on here? So I've got so much to talk about and I can't think. So yes, Vinegreen Update will be coming. The thumbnail, yeah, I know. I like to do stupid ones. Show in March, is that the Entercon one? If it is, I've booked it off, but I haven't been approved at my workplace yet. If it's the one in Taunton, I can just get on a train up there. It's not that far from me, a couple hours. So, providing work says yes, I will be to that show. All the insects are doing well, thank you. Just got notice of this live. Hello, hi, glad you could join. Favourite pokey? I don't have one. Uh, they're not... I like them, and I love watching videos on them. But they're not my spider, if you know what I mean. They're not my passion. Um... So I don't really have a favourite, if I'm going to be honest with you. But I'd quite like to get a few slings of them and grow them on and see how I feel about them then, rather than buying uh, larger juveniles, which I've done before. And we'll just see how we go. But favourite arboreal in person is uh, Pseudocomorus gigas. And mine is now a mature male, which is devastating because I raised that from a one centimetre. Vinegreen is quite aggressive. Um, one of mine is more so than the other, but I don't handle them that often. I kind of do that more if I'm doing spot checks in there, or if I feel that there's something's died and they've put it in a burrow and it's going to cause problems, I'll kind of take it out then and sometimes I'll handle it. Obviously, in the uh, Buggy Christmas Carol, the last one had a vinegaroon in it, and he, or she, but we're going to say he, uh, really didn't like me messing with him on that one. That's why it was a repeat of similar clips i actually only recorded him for maybe 15 to 20 seconds and that's why i kept going back to the same clips because i didn't want to stress him out um yeah are oh, you on the clothes tomorrow are you unlucky <laughs> give our smelly sam a like thank you i appreciate that group chat goes crazy my phone never shut up ping i haven't even gone on it i'm gonna look back it says 99 plus messages are mine um i will look at it after new year's done 20 extra some material item eggs and 20 do you get guarantee that's nice uh, both lovely species i need to get back more extra some material item one of my favorites they are and i had a hatch of 70 something that survived to like l3 stage and i passed them all on to somebody for free somebody who wanted to get in the hobby and he had friends who wanted to get into the hobby and i gave them all care sheets information and I passed the bundle on for them to, to share with this whole group of people, which was lovely. I haven't heard from them for a long time. But, uh, yeah, I need to get them back again. I do miss them. Um, I'm doing well, thank you. I'm just incredibly tired. Oh, the Northern show in March. No, no, I can't make the Northern, I'm afraid, because it's, it's way too far for me. Start with slings and grow. Should love them. I'll certainly give that a go. I actually have a baby... Um, regardless at the moment and I'm actually kind of enjoying that one it's kind of cute Peter Webster challenge no um, I forfeit that challenge I don't want to go into it all on here but I have my reasons it's not just chickening out because I think it's gross um, I actually have legitimate reasons why I won't do that challenge and I don't have any problem with anyone else doing it by the way it's not a hate thing but I have actual reasons why I won't do that challenge. HMAX, no, I had one tiny sling that didn't make it 
ages ago now, quite a long time ago. It did all right for a while and then never found it again. It was a really, really diddy one. And I literally, I never even found it, never even found the body or anything, but I knew it would, it had gone. Um, just clicked this video at the right time and managed to see you. And, uh, oh yeah, oh, it's you that's messaged me, is it? I can't scroll and click on it because if I do so, uh, it will cut the live off. So I could see the start of the message and that was it. All time favourite Deadly Scorpion. Um... Uh, I love to have a Death Stalker, but I don't have massive Scorpion knowledge. I want to read a book um, rather than internet-based things. I'd like to get a full-blown book about various Scorpions to learn more. I don't have massive luck with them. Asian Forest Scorpions I do all right with, um, but other ones I just I just don't do very well with Scorpions. But I really would like to. Invert Keeping book. Uh, I don't have a favourite at the moment. But there's loads I want to get. Uh, a lot of them are stick insect based. There's an author, and I cannot remember his name because I'm too tired, who's done fantastic work. Like I've seen other people with these books, and I've got them to send me pictures of certain texts and images in these books. But they're like 75 quid each, these books. It's ridiculous. But I'd love to get them, and they do them by area. So they go out into the field, they collect them, they look at them, they write about all their anatomy. Mm -hmm. Uh, behaviors and all sorts and it's so like niche and precise that it's it's great but sad thing is some of those books now have species that are completely extinct the ones that he did years ago especially ones in the Borneo rainforests they flatten so much of Borneo now um, that it's it's killed off so many of them it's unreal so there are so many that are no longer cultured anymore Hey everyone, tarantula, baby, Ava, baby. That's a cute choice, though. I'm not gonna lie. Aside for fatal fangs, yeah, I'm not. <laughs> the work that's gonna be put in, no, I'm not excited. Uh, but I'm glad you are. Come wait for the next seven show. Seven show. I might be able to attend that one. There's a lot of shows I can't attend. Sadly, I can't do BTS. Uh, nobody write me about ways that I can make it through the BTS, because I can't. Uh, I'm devastated about it. I don't want to talk about it, because, yeah, that's ruined me. Possibly could do Southern Show. Probably will skip Eastern this time, because it was a complete, uh, excuse my language, but bull ache to get to and back from. I can't do the Western Show this year, because of my friends getting married. What a selfish geezer. Uh, how dare he get married around the time there's an invert show. Um, so, yeah, my my shows are going to be tiny at the minute. I've got s probably C's I can go to, perhaps Entercon, perhaps Southern Show. That's about it for me. Your shop has the VIP tickets. Yeah, I've had some VIP stuff before. I've been in early a few times. I do enjoy it. What did you guys get for Christmas? I got socks. I'm not even kidding you. My extended Christmas was some socks and chocolate. Right, I'm skipping to the bottom now, guys, because I've got quite a lot to talk about at the minute. <laughs> no life for Jazzle, very sad. <laughs> yeah, that's, uh, yeah. Hi, Amy. So, right, I'm going to get back to this point, and then I'll read, read your things. So, my 2020 goals is to try and be one of the most interactive... Um, invert channels I can be and I don't mean to try and make competition to others I mean it for me because when I went back and did that buggy Christmas carol which I'd appreciate if a lot more of you would watch because I was quite saddened by the low view count on those considering the time it took me so if anyone's got the time to watch those that would be fantastic for me um, although a lot of it was obviously staged there were elements of truth in there like my reasons for actually starting YouTube um, and it was uh, I won't go into the main reason, but it was also to do with engagement, um, engaging my passions with the world and having them share it with me. Uh, see you later. Thanks for joining. Um, but obviously it takes up so much time now that I struggle sometimes to be very interactive. Like I read all comments and I don't always reply in time and then I feel bad and then you get really short replies and then I feel like I've sounded rude. 
So I'm trying to come up with as many ideas to be a more engaging and interactive channel as possible. And I will go into that in a future live stream. And also in the future live stream, we will hold everybody to advertise their channels. You can advertise them still in this live stream if you want to. I have no problem with people. Hi, everyone that's joining. I have no problem with anyone advertising who they are in this one. But we will do a main live stream where you can advertise yourself. And in that live stream is when I'm going to tell you about all the plans I have for engagement to be a more engaging channel so you have to wait for that live stream um, before you know all of those bits and bobs now i'm trying to think at the minute because i'm completely tired what else we spoke about future shows we've discussed oh other plans for 2020 like projects so the project that i bring up nearly every live stream and i've still failed to do was the native bug invert enclosure where we have both predatory inverts and we also have non-predatory inverts and we're going to try and make a little ecosystem with the balance between the prey items and the predatory animals and see as an experiment in a way, because it's a large tank, very large tank, experiment in a way to see whether the predators really do rule that tank or if the prey items use their defences and their capabilities of hiding to outdo the predators it's going to be a very interesting project and it's one i've been debating on and off because i don't want to be cruel at the same time but it's a way to learn and it's a way for me to research these animals and maybe learn new behaviors maybe learn new defensive capabilities that we just don't look at because they're so common in the uk now the reason that hasn't come to pass yet is because one i was ranked for the right size enclosure i now have the right size enclosure the other reason, <coughs> excuse me, was because by the time I got that right enclosure, winter was coming. Now, we all know in winter, it's a lot harder to come by the animals. And even if it's, you, you, yeah, there's still plenty of spiders out there, there's still plenty of isopods out there, slugs, snails and so on. But it's also cold for us. You know, I don't really want to be out there bug hunting in the middle of the night in the freezing cold with the rain and make myself ill over getting this video out quickly. So I will do a video based on the setup for it. I will do a, then do a future video where we're collecting things and we're going to add to it over time. And spring is going to be the main time where you're going to see that UK bug enclosure come to life properly. Springtime. So bear with me on that one. We discussed the Hall of Fame. Anyone that's joined recently don't know what the Hall of Fame is going to be. Go back through my videos after this live. Look for the one with Hall of Fame in the title or HOF in the thumbnail. That's going to be an awesome way for me to say thanks to a lot of you guys and for you guys to have a chance to have your names put up on a board which is being created. I cannot give you a deadline on when that will be. Obviously there's Fatal Fangs coming up which is a very slow progress right now because those of you that don't know I'm waiting on versus screen pictures um, and I've probably got, I don't even know if I've got half of them yet. So people that haven't done their versus screen pictures if you're watching this, you need to push and get that done because without those, we can't move to the next step and eventually no one's even going to be able to get clips in. And I don't want it to be another year down the line because I'm still waiting for clips from certain people. So if we can get those versus screens done, then we can work on your intros and then we can start taking clips and I can get the tournament actually ready to go. But I'm not pushing or rushing or stressing myself over it this time. I'm actually only doing Fatal Fangs 2 for you guys. None of it is for me whatsoever because I hate the project. I, <laughs> I stress over the project. So I am being cool about it and letting you guys take your time to get that to me. So, yeah, I've got quite a few versus pictures, but there's still a lot I'm waiting for. Now, I'm sorry I haven't completely read everything people have put, <coughs> but it is late here. I've had a l very little sleep lately. I did uh, 30 hours awake a couple of days ago. We're not going to go into details why, but I was 30 hours awake. Then I got eight hours sleep. Then I went to work. Then I got four and a half hours sleep last night. Went to work. Mm -hmm. And now I've got to be up again early in the morning. And it's already quite late. So we're not going to keep this going for too much longer. Uh, you fell down the stairs. I'm sorry, but that is kind of funny. Uh, if you join my Facebook page, Bug Insects Entomology. I'm not sure if I have, but if you can send me a request, I will certainly accept it. Oh, I missed us talking about Huntsman somewhere. Where are we? I do like Huntsman, but I'm scared of them. I'm not going to lie. Yes, Spider Sam does do awesome videos. 
Right, I'm sorry if I've missed anybody's stuff, but I need to go to the bottom. Coffee table's doing fine. There's an up to bit. Start again. There is an update to be given to you guys on that. There's one person, I don't know if Gar's still in this chat, but he's the only person that knows right now of an experiment that I've put in place for coffee table coffee table enclosure 2.0. And it's an experiment I've also done in the past. The past one was quite successful, but I wanted to test it again. It's a cohabitation with Egyptian predatory beetles. So I have found an invert that seems to cohabit successfully and has been doing so for one month now and three months in the past with Egyptian predatory beetles. So I will reveal to you what that invert is. Bye bye, by the way. Thanks for joining. Um, so yeah, you will get revealed at some point soon an invert that I can quite happily now say can coincide with Egyptian predatory beetles, which is pretty damn awesome, um, in my opinion. Coffee table is actually uh, uh, IKEA. Yeah, it was an IKEA coffee table. Uh, sorry, I've missed a few here. Phalax is doing great, actually. Um, it's quite a shy feeder. I'd like to get more feeding clips because it's so ferocious when it does take the prey. Um, the lightning speed out of the, the web tunnels, but it takes so long to decide to actually go for the prey that I sit there with the camera on for ages, then my light runs out of battery or the camera runs out or the memory card gets full. It drives me up the wall, but it is amazing when it does eat. Do I like regal jumpers? Yes, but I've never owned one. I've had slings, um, really, really, really diddy ones, and I didn't do very well with those. Uh, Happy New Year to all of you that are off. Thanks for joining. Right, I'm scrolling back down to the bottom now. Uh, somebody's get what first tarantula? Oh yeah, your first were three weeks ago. Well, prepare to get more because it's uh, addictive. What's that? You're still looking for what? A Antipodiana. I don't actually quite know what that is. Let me know what that is, and I'll I'll look into it for you. Where are we going? Right, I'm scrolling down again now. I'd love a cost table enclosure for M Balfouri. Yeah, I would. I would like to adapt one to a, a Balfouri communal at some point, but I ain't got room for another coffee table. But perhaps when the beetles die out, maybe we'll work on something else. But I didn't feel the security of it would work well. It, I might need to um, add more to it for the weight because right now the sand isn't that thick. It's like that maybe. So obviously, if I wanted to do like a Balfouri communal and have deep substrate. <coughs> it would weigh it down and it's actually quite a flimsy metal frame underneath and I don't want that to collapse and have a ton of Balfouri running around my house but it would be cool hello to everyone joining by the way we actually got quite a good turnout here it's not bad what would last you got Sam apart from dairy cows that's all I've got at the moment I might get some more isopods I'm starting to think of keeping certain ones with certain stick insects although there's debates on whether they can eat the eggs most of the time they don't sometimes they can eat the outer part which is still safe for the animal on the inside um, because ants do the same thing can't remember the scientific term for it but there is a sort of outer part of the ova that can get eaten and the rest of the egg still stays absolutely fine so i'm going to put that to the test properly and try and prove that point sometime hello everyone joining Looking for a mature male rosea, so if anyone's got one, make sure to hit them up there. I don't have one, I'm afraid. I've got a, a portrait, and it's I do believe it's a female. Well, just been looking at bits of decor for two themed enclosures. I think I'm all set up waiting for one to arrive. That's pretty cool, though. I'll keep an eye for that. I like some cool themed enclosures. Woodlice don't eat your snail eggs. Oh, that's good to know. Jade, are you, um, are you still taken? Um, ignore me. I wish they did, though. Yeah, well, fair point, yeah, with your millions of snail eggs. Uh, thanks for joining. Thanks for joining. Enjoy uh, your new video. Edit your video. Leopard gecko, crusty. 25 some gaias, two desert hairy scorpions, one Asian forest, and a vinegar room. It's a nice little collection there. I say little, it's a decent sized collection. No doubt it will still grow. 
Oh, Jade, you've got a fan there, and it isn't just me. They eat the sweet cap of the top of the egg, which actually helps them hatch. That's the part that I was talking about. Yes, I just didn't know any kind of terms for it. Yes. <coughs> like the ants do with the Extesso Materiatum over in the wild. You know what? I cannot remember what else I needed to discuss here. Um, we did the future shows. We've done about the engagement. Other plans for 2020, aside from things that I've already said, um, will be a lot of stick insect work. A lot. Um, i got a lot planned. I'm trying to work on getting the money to build this huge... <laughs> communal stick insect enclosure and I'm, what I'm going to test is I'm going to test um, by location so we're going to try and make some setups now this first one I'm thinking of we're talking massive yeah it's probably not quite as far as I stretch my arms out but like less and it's going to be about 100 centimeters tall as well or maybe slightly more than 100 centimeters tall and I think I think the width is 95 centimeters something like that big old enclosure and I'm going to try and stick to a lot of Vietnamese species in that one and then we're going to move on and we're going to try and do some others the only ones I won't cohabit are same genus different species because I don't want to risk mixing bloodlines and issues that are going to be going on there so there'll be no hybridization um, but any that are completely separate species but of the same locality are going to try to be put into various enclosures, but it's going to take a long time to get that. Um, I think I've missed some more here. I'll just leave you a bit of thumbnail. <laughs> Not getting more transfers now. My room is tiny and already crammed with three freaking creatures. Uh, you'll find space. That's that's the best thing I can say to you. You'll find space. Oh, it's a black tunnel web. Ah, okay. I don't know very much about them, but that sounds pretty cool. Oh, I'll have to look that up after this. This is not a fat tail in my hand. Um, Jupiter phallax, or the megathoides, me me whatever. I know the one you mean, and I'd like to own that one, but I haven't yet, so I can't do the basis yet. Have the leaf insects hatched yet? Keep asking until they know they're okay. They haven't yet. I'm not quite sure why, actually, because I've moved them to the better spot now so maybe it will come soon but for ages I put them on a shelf that I thought was a warmer shelf and it was up quite high as well and I found out it was right next to a freezing cold wall so that would have slowed down time but don't worry they will hatch they will hatch um, right I'm gonna have to try and wrap this up now guys because I'm exhausted so keep an eye out for my, my community tab for future live where you can fully advertise your channels. If anybody wants to talk about anybody's channels, do so now because I'm going to close this in a couple of minutes. But that live stream is going to be your point to sell yourselves basically to one another. That sounded really wrong and I didn't mean it to. But like for example, you could put things like if it were the other way around and I join. I'm Sam from Bug Rams. I like to keep all things creepy crawly. Uh, but no, but seriously, I'd be like... Um, stick insects in my things but I also keep tarantulas, crouchy beetles, so on and so forth I like to create various enclosures I've made one out of a coffee table I've made one out of a clock out of a speaker uh, blah 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 here's my channel link, check it out if that's something you might be into and sell yourselves in that way and see if you can get more subscribers and more people that are going to be long term interested in your channel so that is something that we are going to be working on and that is a way for us all to engage with one another as well uh, can't remember what hatch they could have been the later batch that's fine Jay just honestly don't panic they'll be fine send a link to your Facebook page and keep up the good work uh, was that aimed at my one or someone else's page if it was my one I can't get the link at the minute because I'm just sat directly on my phone uh, I can't stream since I don't have thousands of sub I don't know if you is it just on mobile non-streaming though? If you've got a computer, they might let you. I can't remember if it was live stream at all for a thousand subs or if it was just three mobile phones. Derek Isopods, when's the best time to ship them off when I get some off you? Uh, January or February. Uh, the warmer the better, basically. Um, 
probably February. It's a quiet month, so the postal service will, should be on the top notch of their game. Maybe by the end of January, though, we can see. But they're they're also doing very well in that new enclosure that I've put them in as well. There's even more babies coming out now, which is pretty awesome. Um, good night. Oh, are we saying good night to me because I'm going? Uh, yeah, I'm gutted about the BTS too, man. But you'll see me on other times and you're always welcome to visit as well Scott if you ever want to come down hiya Robbie uh, would you rather be a tree spider or a tarantula uh, if I could be one I'd pick a tarantula for the fact that I would more than likely live longer um, and I probably would terrify people in this country because they we don't really have them in the wild, so I think I could just cause a lot of terror and amusement to myself if I were one. I sent the link. Sent the link to the Facebook. No problem. I will make sure to check that out. What about stick insects? Sounds good. Yep. So there will be a lot coming out about those. A lot at the minute. I'm waiting for certain ones to grow on. But I've also got some really awesome news to do with stick insects, but I'm not revealing it here, so you'll have to wait and see. But it's really, really awesome news, for me at least. Anyway, something I have been excited about for so long. Uh, where's the best insect that you have? Uh, probably my C. femoralis, which is the thorny cricket, which I named Nicoletta. She is awesome. Aside from her... It's a certain stick insect, which again, I'm, I'm not going to bring up here. Why are tarantulas so anxious? I suppose that it, it depends in what way you mean. I mean, if you mean like shy or skittish or, or whatever, it's, especially if they're younger, it's like a protection thing. So, I don't know, if you could imagine you walking in the street and <coughs> a huge gang of like large men with like, I don't know, weapons or things that you don't know, I suppose you, you wouldn't want to walk past them. And I suppose it's the kind of same thing of having somebody poke and prod and come down to your area. Um, they've got to look after themselves to survive. So although they're predatory, there are predators that get them and they need to defend themselves from that predator. And one way to defend yourself is actually to hide. So I'm guessing that would be probably why. My daughter's nickname is Cricket, that's amazing. Hello, I'm going to actually be off in a second, uh, but thanks for joining. I am going, should be going to seas, should be going to seas. Yes, you do, Amy, you need to get one. I've actually been talking to Frankus Lee. Today, I need to send him a message. Oh, I'm so tired, I forgot. Um, for more information about him, he's actually popped a video up. I haven't watched it yet because I've been at work, but that's to do with the C. femoralis, and he wanted me to send him some information of what I've learned about them. So if you don't know Frankus Lee, he's a bit of a legend. So if you go on his YouTube channel, you'll see what I mean. The man is, is a genius. Right, I'm sorry to skip through anybody's other comments, but I really do need to go to sleep. I'm shattered and I've got work again tomorrow and it's a long one. So, <coughs> excuse me, I've got a cough as well. Happy New Year to everybody. I hope you all had a wonderful Christmas. I'm sorry for any posts that I miss. Keep an eye out for the future live, which will be planned better where you can all advertise yourselves, get to know one another, not just me. So thanks for watching, everyone. Happy New Year. Take care. Bye. Where's the button? I always do this. Right, I'm really going now. Cheers, guys. Bye-bye.